Hello, in this video, I will talk on the creating persistent disk in uh, Google Cloud. Uh, I click on the start lab, so it started already. And when you click on the open Google console, uh, it opens another tab right here. And do not use your uh, personal email address or school email address. Just use this one, username. Click here. Uh, so it is copied. And then... Uh, I paste here and then next and as for the password this one copy it paste next uh, okay so here accept confirm um, so we will follow these instructions and then uh, we look at this uh, to find out which screenshots we should submit. Um, okay, so as for the name, uh, put this one, VM for the uh, instance name, VM and then your initials. So let's look at here. Okay, and then here I agree and then agree and continue. So here uh, we open the, all right, so this one, uh, activate cloud shell at the top, this one, and then continue. Okay, so provisioning. And here, um, okay, so you can just, uh, so let me just do this. Uh, I click here to copy to the clipboard and then in here uh, paste and enter authorize okay so I can see that and you can try this and I will just for the sake of time uh, I will come to here and so instead of GC lab use your uh, VM and your initials copy and paste and then by using the arrow key come to here and then vm bg for my case and enter okay so it is creating and okay after that so let me see okay now it's created uh, and then running. Uh, so create persistent disk. So uh, I use this. I don't change the name. So my disk is okay. Copy and paste here. Enter. Okay. So it says it is unformatted. Um, so you need to uh, format it. It is okay. So we will do that later. Um, so attaching a disk. Okay, so here uh, I will attach it, but as you see, it uses GC lab uh, for the instance, and then it attached to the my disk. So we will change this one because uh, our instance name is VM and initials. So copy and paste, but before pressing enter, uh, just change this GC lab to the VM BG. Enter. Okay. And, and then, so the output should be something like that. Okay, that's good. Updated and this. Um, okay. And... So now SSH into virtual machine. Um, so, so this says GC lab, but we will change that. Um, paste it. And then by using the arrow keys, instead of GC lab, VM BG. And do you want to continue uppercase Y? Uh, and then for the uh, phrase, uh, for the no phrase, just 
enter and enter again all right so now uh, okay so this is the expected output and this is the expected output now find the disk device by clicking so copy and paste so, and so it lists them uh, by id and if you look at the instructions it shows that you found the file the default name is this uh, scuzzy zero google persistent disk one which is the this one the last one okay right here and and formatting so uh, mkfs creates file system and mount attaches to file system so here uh, let's mount it okay enter okay and then uh, now format the disk with a single ext4 file system and copy this and paste so uh, by the way this is also this should be also paste so upper send key combination Control V is for pasting. Okay, it, it doesn't work anyway. So here, press enter. Uh, now it is now it is done. Okay, and let's continue. Yes. Okay, so here now uh, use the mount tool to mount the disk. Uh, to instance with the discard option enabled so i click here and paste press enter okay it is done um, now uh, by, by default the disk will not be remounted when the machine restarts to make sure it is uh, remounted on restart uh, we uh, put an entry uh, to this file so open this in nano edit so nano is some uh, text editor similar to vi so copy and paste here okay so we open that and add the following below the line that starts with uuid okay and copy and so this Okay, and uh, now by using the uh, error key, I just come here and then paste right here uh, as the new line. Uh, let me see. Okay, just below that. And then now it should look like this. And save and exit Nano no, by pressing uh, Control O, Enter, Control X. Uh, and you can see also here write out and so on so here uh, control o okay so if you use a mac operating system so again i use control o and then a uh, file name to write okay we we will overwrite it uh, so as you see here uh, press enter and then uh, to exit control x okay and then and then that's it and so you, you can uh, complete these ones um, okay what else local let's see all right so that, that's it so and if we look at here uh, it tells you uh, where to get the uh, uh, screenshots okay uh, and then you just take some screenshots. So uh, this is all and uh, have a nice day.